friend of mine who is a rose gardener uh, asked me about making a soap that would be good for scrubbing away garden dirt. So she wanted something exfoliating and something that would, would smell good. She suggested rosemary as the scent. So uh, that's the goal of, of today's soap. This is the recipe that I'm going to be using. Uh, it is a 68 ounce size mold, but because of the extra stuff I'm putting in, I'm only gonna use 66 ounces of oils. Um, for the oils, I'm using a more cleansing, less conditioning mix than I would normally use. So castor oil and then coconut uh, and also palm kernel, both of those would be strongly hardening of the soap and then also strong for cleansing and then uh, lard and uh, beef tallow, both of which contribute to hardness as well as some cleansing and then high oleic sunflower oil to hopefully slow down the uh, hardening of the soap. The lard will do that too. And then also the sunflower oil by having more unsaturated fatty acids and it will be more conditioning. As I normally do, I'm adding some sugar and some sodium lactate. Uh, and then I'm using rosemary essential oil blended with some lemongrass essential oil. I've not used this mixture before, but when I've used lavender and lemongrass, I find the lemongrass tends to overwhelm the lavender. So assuming that might be the case here, I'm using considerably more rosemary than lemongrass. And then I'm also gonna use some dried rosemary leaves as well as some pumice to give the um, exfoliating grittiness My lye water is at 98 degrees Fahrenheit. My oils are at 87. I'm not sure how this recipe is going to behave because it's substantially harder than I usually make. It has quite a lot of coconut and palm kernel oil in it, quite a lot of tallow. So those things would all tend to speed it up. Um, on the other hand, it has lard and sunflower oil, which tend to slow it down. I'm using an essential oil that I've never used before, rosemary, which I have read does not accelerate, but you never know. And then pumice and rosemary leaves. So this could be a very well-behaved soap or it could harden up really fast on me. So I have contingency plans here. If it moves fast, I'll make a single color soap. If it's slower, I'm gonna stripe it with the base being white and then the stripe being a it's Pennsylvania green from TKB is the mica, so it's kind of a bright bluish green. I have almost a cup of pumice here, medium grit, which I'm going to blend into the oil before I get other things going. Pumice tends to lump up, so it takes a little while to mix it. And then, of course, it'll keep trying to sink to the bottom until the, there's some viscosity of the soap. I'm also going to put in the uh, Rosemary leaves, these are homegrown rosemary leaves that have been dried in the oven, uh, about a quarter cup of them. And I'm also going to hold off on adding the uh, essential oils until later. have sugar and sodium lactate in the lye water. Add the 
essential oils now. That's moving slow enough that I think I'm going to be able to do the colors. So this is about a teaspoon of Pennsylvania green, and then for the white base, I have four generous teaspoons of titanium dioxide here. Still a little rapid thickening. I'm going to move the camera so you can see the mold better. As it turns out, this has been a very slow moving soap. I have been stirring it for several minutes since I turned off the camera, and it's just now coming to minimal trace. The uh, green stripe thickened up a little bit faster than the white. while that green is still nicely pourable. I would say the green's at, at medium trace. So I'm going to pour a serpentine pattern to sink in and color throughout the bar. And then I'll pour more shallowly to make the pattern on the top, as I've often done. start with kind of a broad Taiwan swirl. I was thinking about doing more, but that looks so much like the leaves of a plant. I think I might just leave that as it is. I think so. So, as usual, I'll spray this with alcohol. I'll put it in a, a 77 Celsius, 170 Fahrenheit oven for a couple hours to harden it up, and we'll have a look at it tomorrow. It is the next day, and so here is the finished soap. Um, I've mentioned this mold in the past. This is from Papa's Woodcraft on Etsy, and I really like it because it has the miter cuts in the side, so you can cut your soap into 15 neat bars, still in the mold. The mold comes with this knife. they'll weigh just over four ounces.
So there, we have 15 cut bars. the side. I'll clean these up a little bit and then we'll have a closer look at them. Here is what the finished bars look like. These are the tops. I've not done anything to these. They really don't have a lot of soda ash on them, but they're a little bit rough, so I'll probably uh, shave just a bit off of the tops. And then sides, the two on the right are where the knife went through to cut the bars. The one on the left is um, what was up against the mold wall. And then these are the bottom sides. The one on the left I've shaved just a little bit away. The one on the right is as it came off of the uh, liner. And then these are cut ends. Again, the one on the far left was against the side of the mold. The other two are where the knife went through. So I like that. It, it, uh, I wasn't planning on that pattern at all, but it really looks to me like some sort of a plant. Um, these have almost a tablespoon of pumice in each bar, so they should be quite uh, rough and good for scrubbing. You probably wouldn't want to use them on your face, but for a gardener, I think they'll be good.